This is 12.7 dividing a polynomial by a monomial. In 12.1, to divide monomials, you first have to divide the coefficients and then divide the variables. Um, if you have the same bases, then you subtract the exponents. All right, so let's look at some examples. Oops. When we have just coefficients, if we divide, if the larger number is on top, then we can divide the larger number, the, the, the numerator, by the denominator, 27 divided by 9, and we would just get 3. However, if the larger number is on the bottom, we're never going to have a whole number for our answer. This can only be reduced, so this would reduce to 1 third. Now, if we have variables with the same, if we have variables with exponents and our bases are the same, if we're dividing, then we subtract the exponents. And remember, we put our uh, answer where the largest exponent is. So here, we know that we're going to have an x. And if I subtract 3 from 4, I get 1. And I put my answer where the largest exponent is. So it's going to go on top in the numerator. It's an x to the 1 or just x. But in number 4, my largest exponent is on the bottom. It's the same two numbers, 4 and 3. So if I subtract 3 from 4, I get 1. But this time, it's got to go in the denominator. And to show that it's in the denominator, I put a 1 over it. Okay, so now to do some that are a little more complicated. Remember, we do each thing separately. So if I look at just the coefficients, negative 6 divided by negative 2. A negative divided by negative is positive 3. For my x's, I have an x to the 5th divided by x to the 4th. My answer is going to go on top, and it's just an x to the 1, or x. For my y's, I have a y to the understood 1 divided by y to the 5th. So I know that's y to the 4th. And since my biggest exponent's on the bottom, that y to the 4th is going to go on the bottom. All right, for number 6, if I look at the numbers, 25 divided by negative 50, again, my smaller number's on top, so I'm not going to get a whole number. So this would just reduce, and that would reduce to a negative one-half. For my a's, I have an a to the fifth divided by a to the third. Five minus three is two, and it's going to go on top, a squared, on top. For my b's, I have a b to the one, b to the third. If I subtract that, I get a b squared, and it's going to go on the bottom. All right, I have a C on top, a C on the bottom. C divided by C is 1, and 1 times anything is just itself. So it, we say that it cancels out. It's really dividing out. And I don't need to put that 1 there because I have something holding the place on top. And this is my answer. <clears throat> okay, so that was just a little review. Now let's divide a polynomial by a monomial. Okay, so you know whenever we're adding fractions, we have to have a common denominator. And if we have a common denominator, we can put everything, um, or we can add everything in the numerator together. So this is kind of going backwards from that. See, if I had all the same denominator, I can just take the numerators and add them together, like what's going here. But if I go backwards, if I have it all together, like it is here, I can split it up as long as I put the same denominator under each part. So we, we do that, and then we simplify each part. So once we split it up like this, then we would take each part, 4 divided by 4, that would divide out, and I would just have an x squared. 4 will go into 8 two times, so that would be plus 2x. And then 12 divided by 4 is 3. And then that would be my solution. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing here in number 1. The first thing we're going to do is separate it out. 8x to the third divided by x plus 5x squared 
divided by x minus 2x divided by x. <laughs> okay, so we know like the numbers, if they're on top, they're going to stay on top. Okay, we don't move them. And then x to the third divided by x would be x squared, and it's going to go on top. Plus, bring down that 5, x squared divided by x, I'd be left with x, because 2 minus 1 is 1. Minus 2, and those x's just cancel out. So this is my solution. Okay, number 2. I'm going to divide every term by 3x. So this time, since I have a 3 in the denominator, I have to divide it into that number that's on top. 6 divided by 3 is 2. x to the third divided by x would be x squared. Negative 9 divided by 3 is negative 3. x squared divided by x is x. Plus, these x's would cancel. 12 divided by 3 is 4. All right, in number three, every term is going to be divided by 5xy. Okay, so in this first term, 15 divided by 5 is 3. My y's are going to divide out, and x squared divided by x would be x. Minus 10 divided by 5 is 2. My x's are going to divide out. y squared divided by y is just y. Now, like I said, when these are dividing out, this turns to a 1. 1 times 2y or negative 2y would still be negative 2y. So, same thing here, we have 5xy divided by 5xy. We say they divide out, but they don't just go away. 5 divided by 5, x divided by x, y divided by y is 1. So that would be minus 1. If you don't put that minus 1 on the end, then it's wrong. That doesn't just go away. It doesn't, doesn't just cancel out and disappear. Any number divided by itself is 1. Okay, number 4. Negative 16x squared divided by 12x to the third plus 36x to the third divided by 12x to the third. Okay, here, 12 will not go into 16 an even number of times, so we just need to reduce that. The biggest number that would go into 16 and 12 would be 4. And since I have a negative and a positive, it would be negative. 4 will go into 16 four times, and 4 will go into 12 three times. And then I have an x squared on top, an x cubed on the bottom. Two, if I take away 2 from 3, I get 1x, and it needs to go on the bottom because that's where the biggest exponent is. Plus... 36 divided by 12, 12 will go into 36 an even number of times, three whole times, and then these divide out, okay? So this is my answer. Now, um, a lot of times I've seen students, if they just have one uh, denominator, they try to put it underneath the whole thing. If you write it like this, plus 3 over 3x, that is wrong, okay? That 3x is only underneath that one term. Okay, number five. We're going to put 2x underneath each term.
Okay, and for the first term, if I divide this out, negative 2 divided by 2 would be negative 1. And then uh, x squared divided by x is just x. So negative 1x or negative x plus 14 divided by 2 is 7. And those x's divide out. Minus 2 will go into 8 four times. And then that x, we don't move it up to the top. That x is in the denominator. There's nothing to divide it with on top, so it stays where it's at. So if you bring it up to the top and just write 4x, again, that's wrong. And this is your answer.